So in this video, today we're going to discuss the, the things that Greg Roman did while he was with uh, San Francisco because they had a pretty good run that year. Um, they have similar personnel than we had. They had Colin Kaepernick as a quarterback. They had uh, two pretty good tight ends. They had uh, Randy Moss as a speed guy. And they also had uh, Crabtree as a possession guy. Uh, we have those things. You know, we're better at some of those things in those positions than, than they were. But, you know, and also they may be better at, they may were better at some some of those things than we are. But this video is about the similarities Greg Roman can, not similarities, things Greg Roman can incorporate into our offense that we didn't see last year because, you know, he partially took over like maybe halfway through the year and was kind of the backup at the time, the backup OC. But, um, you know, no matter your views on whatever it is, this is about X's and O's, so don't bring it to my chat box, you know, or, you know, I just I'll block you or whatnot. But this is strictly X and O's, and this is what Greg Roman can bring to, you know, our offense. So here it is, Sip the Tally presents uh, Greg Roman's offense. So again, we're here to take a look at Greg Roman's offense, and um, you know, you heard the disclaimer before I started, so we're just gonna dive right into the X and O's of, of this and see what we can see. On his first play, it's gonna be, um, I think it's play action with uh, four verts. And we got the personnel to kind of match up. Now, let me talk about the personnel first. Um, he had uh, Vernon Davis, a pretty fast tight end, and another guy, um, I can't think of the other guy, but the second tight end is pretty good also. We also have two potentially three decent tight ends. He had a speed guy uh, in Moss. You know, we have a speed guy in Hollywood Brown. And he had a possession guy in Crabtree. We have possession guys in um, Sneed and, you know, a couple of other guys that are gonna be fighting for that position. So the the um, personnel is better or just as good. The difference is uh, at running back. They primarily use Gore and, you know, sparingly use another guy and uh, Kaepernick and, you know, Kaepernick was fast and straight line speed, but Lamar is way more quicker than Kaepernick. They may be the same speed as running a straight line, but Lamar can hit holes and dart in and out quicker than Kaepernick. So I think some of these quarterback runs, some of these runs that you're going to see Kaepernick do will be better suited for Lamar. But let's get right into it. Uh, one of the same type for, for uh, sets we have. Got a tight end with uh, three receivers. Let's run and see what happens. Play action. The play action, uh, like the one back power. Hit the seam right. Something similar we can do because we run power pretty good. See it from the back view. Now I just run the power option. Seven seven is gonna pull. Everybody just is blocking down. Tight end releases. He just releases. Normally he would block out on one back power, but he's just gonna release. And they probably ran power a couple times, so that's why they come with this. One of the things that we can do. Easy read. The read is this guy right here. If he steps up. He steps up on this power, on this play fake. Ball's going right behind his head. Which he does. Ball goes right there. Probably should have been thrown a little bit earlier. The ball goes right there. Andrews can do the same type thing and Hurts. All right, this next play is a play action to deep post. And this pass, I think this pass was intercepted or not completed. But I just want you to see from this all 22 view the what we can do. Because if you stick uh, Hollywood Brown down here where, where Moss is, and have another possession guy at the top. Just, just see the possibilities. And that would be Brown coming in motion. Probably Andrews at this bottom tight end down here. Heavy play fake, two man route. So right now you'd have Hollywood Brown, right here's Moss, running to clear all this out, whether he goes to the corner or whether he come into the post. Clearing all that out, taking probably both safeties. Then you'd have like an Andrews creeping in right behind him, right over this 20 yard line marker. And then say they take that. Yeah, you know, Hollywood might be fast enough to get deep on these guys. Hey, if this, this ball is thrown better, this, this probably could be a touchdown for Moss, but I think it was an interception. Let's run it. It was. It was an interception. But I like that combination of, uh, of routes, especially on a, a heavy run. Probably was second and short or something like that. I don't remember the, the down and distance, but I like that, that, that concept. And, you know, with the personnel we have, I think it'll work. Again, dive option. Something we run a lot of. You know, they use this guy right here who's a fullback. I don't know if we're going to keep a fullback, but this definitely could be Boyle or any of our other tight ends. Simple. Simple. 
simple, simple, simple. These guys going to kind of block it like inside zone um, with my tight end. My tight end will kind of arc a little bit just enough for the fullback to insert. And it's, it's almost like ISO, you know, now that I look at it. Maybe like ISO. Let's see. Now, Kaepernick's still reading it, so it's, it's, it's not ISO. He, it's still a read. Because look at his eyes right there on 54. So he got a wide angle on 54, so he just gave it. Gore skirts through there. Gore, uh, Ingram, and, and, and Gus, and Justice Hill, and Ken Dixon can all do those same things. Now, something we know a lot of, split zone. Something that Greg probably put in last year. We see a lot of that. It's going to be simple. be real simple again you know we know from watching my film split zone this somebody's gonna come across and block block the end let's see how they do it use the fullback to come across and block the end all these other guys blocking to me to like inside zone left this guy's arcing again so this is similar to the last play they just scored on and now it turns into iso iso up on this guy and look he's going with the uh, tight end Touchdown goal. All these things that, that we've seen so far that, that can be done in, in Baltimore. Not, nothing different, nothing difficult. Here is back view. Just split zone. These these five offensive linemen blocking inside zone left. The fullback is coming back to block this end if he crashes. He doesn't crash, he kind of photos with the tight end. So that means the tight end technically takes two guys. Because this guy played with him, then the guy that's actually guarding him is, is really guarding him. So that's why he come through with a clean block here and goes untouched. All right. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film, then More Film, or Fruit, Tomatoes, and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt. For all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute. Moving on to the next play. It's QB scramble. Now, I'm going to pause right here for a second. Uh, in the playoff game, I was begging for us to call pass plays, but not with the, the thought of Lamar actually throwing the ball. I wanted them to call pass plays, so even if they covered it, Lamar would have the option to do some things like this. They're empty. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. Now you pretty much got you got three intermediate to deep routes right there. You got a, a, a short end cut here and it looks like a hitch. So that's quick reads. None of these guys are open right now. Now, pocket, pocket doesn't break down, he just sees an alley. Now receivers turning the blockers. It's that simple. All pass plays ain't meant to be passes when you got a, a quarterback that can run like that. It's just simply to open the stuff up. Look at everybody's covered. Sees the opening, now they're turning the blockers. Especially a man because their bag is to the quarterback. All right, got this uh, two tight end overload. You got two tight ends right here. And what's going to happen is, is they're going to get some kind of play flake, play fake, and you're going to get a guy in the flats, which this could be another tight end for us, or it could be a fullback if we take it. All right, play fake left. And the guys just release. You got this tight end probably going to the corner. This one going to the flats. It's almost like a smash concept. There it is. He's going to the back of pylon. He's going to the front pylon. Uncovered because of the play fake. Simple. We got enough tight ends to do that. Definitely. You put Andrews and Hurst out there, we definitely can do that. Even Boyle. Heavy run left. Heavy run. Look at you got your, your linebacker here in, the, in there. This linebacker already crashing. These guys' eyes on this play fake. Nobody's eyes on these two tight ends. And Vernon does a great job of selling it, really. He's really blocking right here. He does a great job of selling that. They're reversing out. And for some strange reason, this dude see him releasing and just continues to let him go. Maybe he thinks somebody else has him. Maybe somebody else supposed to have that responsibility. But again, it's something that we can do in Baltimore because we have just as good a person there, if not better. All right, split zone, ain't reading the linebacker. All right, let's, let's get to it. I'm going to let it run, and then we'll talk about it from the back view. 
We definitely know we can do this. Definitely. Especially when I show it to you from the back. All right, we can get our normal splits on like we, we get all the time. Now, line, he's reading this guy right here. This is going to be the read. So watch his eyes once the ball snap. Now try to pause there. These front linemen blocking inside zone left. Split guy coming to kick out the end. And Kaepernick's reading 59. Now 59 is trying to chase that, that running back in that gap, which he feels the gap good. Look, if Gore or whoever the running back is has his ball, 59 makes this tackle. But the quarterback has pulled it. Now, right now, Lamar can do this all day long. And, and better. And better. Again, another wrinkle that, that Roman could put in and probably will put in because I don't I didn't see that play last year. And I watched a lot of film. Again, pass plays and you know the threat of the run, keeping your eyes downfield, which will help the receivers out. Straight drop back. You got uh some vertical routes right here, some quick, two quick routes, which is similar to what we saw a minute ago when he ran. All right, pocket breaks down a little bit. So he starts to scramble. And look at these look at him coming up. We don't want him to scramble on us because he's a runner. And they're just going to let that guy just seek to the back. The, all these guys are looking at Kaepernick because they don't want him to run, which, you know, if they're in zone, they're watching the quarterback anyway. And the threat of run, they're probably going to come up, which, because Lamar's a better runner anyway. And just keep his head downfield, drop it in the bucket. Simple. Again, all pass plays not don't have to be designed to hit the way they're drawn up. The, sim the fact that he can run and, and he's accurate, well, if he's accurate with the ball, you know, on the move, that, that'll help us out. Yeah, watch how the pocket breaks down. He just really steps up and even thinks about running. Those guys come up. You can't see it on this view. But the linebackers don't move, which they're probably in their right zones anyway. But it's, those, it's these deeper guys that from the All-22 that, that came up. This guy came off his man. This guy tried to jump that route. And let me back up so you can see how hard he jumped it. I watched this, watched this safety right here try to jump that route for some strange reason or jump up on Kaepernick running. Yeah, he tried to jump that route and left this guy open. He hung this hung this guy out. He's probably mad. Because when you watch the game, it probably looked like his fault and it wasn't. Why we didn't have this crap tree in Baltimore? But anyway, move on to the next play. All right, run thread with the eyes down, feel again. Get another pass play where he can get a bunch of yards running the ball. Got back, four receivers. Got five receivers. The back slips out here. Got a cross around here. Got some kind of intermediate curl. Look like Moss is running to go. I'm not sure what this guy's running right here. Again, the pocket. And it, <laughs> for some reason, the pocket always break down right here. And probably it's because it's Clay trying to rush so hard. He's out the gate. Now, right now, he can. Got all this space to run. It all depends on this defender right here. If he decides to stay with this man down the field, uh, the quarterback can run, you know, get however many yards before the safety gets here. Or if he decides to let the court, let this guy go and go get the quarterback, now we got to hope for accurate pass. Which he kind of plays in between and it gets dumped right over his head. He plays in between and gets dumped right over his head, which is, you know, something we, we can do. And again, I believe all these things that, that uh, Kaepernick is showing, Lamar is better at it. I really do. I ain't play. Pocket drop breaks down. Steps up. Now here he is. Here's the matchup right here. Here's the matchup right here. So if he decides to come up on a run, drop it over his head. If he stays with his man, just run until somebody decides to, uh, you know, threaten you out of bounds. And that's Wilson. All right, next play. Buck sweep or stretch. So I'm not really sure which one this is. That's why I got the slash up there. Again, now, with the backs we have, this stuff is things we can use. Now, again, I didn't see this last year. Um, I, again, I don't know if we're going to keep a full back. If we do, just a look that we really could use. Yep, uh, let me see. This will be yonder pulling for us on some down, after some down blocks. And just bounce to the edge. For us, that would be yonder pulling. That would be a tight end blocking down, and, and that would be a Zeus blocking down. Down block. Down block by the tight end. Yonder's pulling for the backer, 
and you got a fullback leading on the first thing off the edge, hey, a lot of good yards right there. A lot of good. Another thing that I didn't see last year that probably could be added, and also a trap. Now, I put this trap in here because when I first saw it, what came to mind is us uh, pounding the ball with Gus, pounding the ball with Mark, and then maybe mid third quarter or late in the fourth, you stick uh, Justice Hill in there. And watch how quick this play hits. Just simple trap. And the guy they trapping kind of fell out anyway, so that play hit real hard. Let's watch it from the back. Trapping this guy right here. And I think he falls through anyway. Bam on that center. Let him go by. He got linebacker. He's gonna, gonna smash it right there and hit right off these two tackles. I mean these two uh O linemen. Simple. Simple. Simple but yet effective, especially if it's a guy we can't block. Like a like a Aaron Donald or you know, one of those threes that we, you know, people have problems doing something with. This is a dive. Regular old, regular old football, you know, one of the basic plays in football to dive. But with what I've seen from Gus from jump cuts and what I've seen from Mark in jump cuts, this could be something similar. Cause Gore's cut is just as good. This play is originally supposed to hit. Follow the fullback, that's where the play's supposed to hit. Follow 49. Both hit right there. But the Rams got this covered up. But I guess it's the Rams. Yeah, the Rams got this bottled up. So he bounces. So the tailback bounces. But once he bounces, and I'm sure why this play is supposed to go inside. Look at the leverage of this tight end blocking. If this play was supposed to go outside, he, he'd be on the other side. But because he's blocking him out like that, the play's supposed to hit inside. But again, 49 is a good job of helping with that and sealing the edge. That probably was a little holding right there. Probably was a lot of holding. But again, some of these same plays that uh, they ran with uh, Kaepernick back in San Francisco, I see that we can incorporate in our offense. And again, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This is Coach Evans. Hit me in the comment box if you uh, have something you want to talk about or have something you want to see. And uh, again, you guys have a good Saturday. Peace. With the, with the